Do you remember Polly Pocket? Tiny doll, excellent perm, lived in clamshells. If you're of a certain age, you'll remember these tiny dolls as your mum would accidentally hoover them up and your dad would complain whenever he stepped on them when you left them out. Whatever, Dad, there's a complex storyline going on. I can't just put it away. Oh, my God. This year marks the 30th anniversary of these pocket-sized dolls, so let's go back and see where it all began. The beginning of Polly Pocket begins all the way back in 1983, otherwise known as the Dark Ages to kids on the internet. Creator Chris Wiggs made a tiny doll he could fit into a powder compact for his daughter Kate. He eventually sold on the idea to British toy manufacturer Bluebird Toys, and they'd bring out the first Polly Pocket doll in 1989. Even if you've never heard of Bluebird Toys, if you were a kid in 80s and 90s Britain, you'll know of their work. As well as Polly Pocket, they were responsible for Mighty Max, Polly Pocket if Polly was a small young boy with a radical sideways cap, Havoc War Game, Thomas and Friends mini sets, and the daddy of them all, the Big Yellow Teapot Dollhouse. Did you know the National Trust has a page dedicated to the Big Yellow Teapot? I remember playing with these things. Now they're in a museum, so I'm pretty sure this means death is coming for me. Remember me as I live, drowning in plastic tat! The original Polly Pocket was less than an inch tall, making her perfect for disappearing in the mess of your bedroom or down your younger brother's throat. Seriously, it was toy safety not a thing in the 80s? And she featured a hinge in the middle that let her sit down. Hell yeah, play features! She also had a circular base, which allowed her to slot into spaces in her playsets. The playsets are possibly the best thing about Polly Pocket toys. They came in an incredible array of styles. The most basic ones were clamshell powder compact style, just like the original that Chris Wiggs made. Even they were really cool, with loads of tiny moulded features and sometimes they even lit up OMG technology, yo! They weren't the only playsets though. There were tiny houses, necklace pendants, rings, and even a full town playset, which I'm pretty sure was the best toy I ever owned. It had a full hotel in it, and horses! Tiny horses! There were spin-offs too, such as the Lucy Locket toy, which was, let's be honest, a slightly bigger Polly Pocket. We didn't have a lot going on in the 90s. This is exciting to us. What are you going to do? Polly Pocket blew up in a big way, and they in fact saved the Bluebird toy brand. They became so popular that in fact, but Mattel, they of Barbie fame, came sniffing around looking to obtain the brand and the Polly Pocket for themselves. Bluebird held out until 1998, until finally Mattel bought them out, ending Bluebird for good. R.I.P. Bluebird toys, we hardly knew you. Now that Mattel were in charge, they were going to make some changes around here, damn it. The biggest change they made was literally making Polly bigger. She was now a whole three quarters of an inch tall, as opposed to a tiny half an inch. She still had some super cool play sets like a mall, a gym, a dream home. Huh? Okay, Mattel, you made Barbie, we get it. In 1999, Fashion Polly was introduced. For the first time ever, you could actually dress up your tiny dolly friend. As she was so tiny, she didn't get the regular clothes like her bigger sisters in the Barbie line got. Instead, she got Polly stretch clothes, which were made by Genius Toys. These were made out of rubber in order for them to fit on Polly. Mind out the gutter, this is a family video. As this was the age of synergy, that meant it wasn't enough for Polly Pocket just to be a doll. She had to have her own media empire like all the other toys had. That meant she was given movies, books, websites and all sorts of exciting stuff. However, she wasn't as big as Mattel were hoping, and in 2002, the original Mattel doll was discontinued. That's what you get for messing with the tiny doll formula! It was so much better in the early 90s, get off my lawn! Their look didn't get any better, as in 2004, they introduced a quick click line of Polly Pocket clothing, which attached via magnets, rather than using rubber. This was quickly recalled, because there were cases of the clothes being swallowed by children. But we are more sensible as children, or what? I never swallowed a Polly Pocket. WTF, mate. Polly wasn't getting any more popular, and in 2010 a relaunch was attempted and failed. In 2012, the line was discontinued in the US, so American kids can no longer get their play on with tiny choking hazards. Shame. In 2018 though, Mattel were hoping to turn their look around. They re-released a tiny doll in a style much truer to her early 90s style. She's a lot smaller, but still sporting the ponytail rather than the perm she was known for. And that's probably for the best, let's be honest. She even has play sets that are reminiscent of the old style sets, including a house, a ballet set, and even a ski chalet. Maybe could in the world, are we, Polly? Alright, for some, innit? Right now, she's still in stores, so you can pick yourself up a Polly to call your very own. The nostalgia is strong, though, and that means that if you love yourself an old school Polly, then you're in luck, my friend. Both Truffle Shuffle and Hot Topic have jumped on the merch bandwagon, the latter to celebrate her 30th birthday. What does any millennial want for her birthday? That's right, stuff that reminds them of a time in their life when they had no responsibilities, when they didn't have to worry about how to pay rent, or figure out how the hell they were ever going to retire, and... What was I saying? Oh yeah, these merch lines have included t-shirts, makeup sets, handbags, and more. I may have spent way too much on a handbag. 
Shut up, it's cute, and I'm trying to stave off existential dread here. Polly's been around for a while, and it's pretty clear she's not going anywhere anytime soon. Did you have Polly Pockets as a kid? Did you ever eat one? Why would you do that? Let me know. Thanks for watching.